Uh, I mean, there was a bunch of moments. I think throughout the competition, all the guys had really, you know, had good days. There wasn't really a lot of bad days, but just the overall movement of the offense, the understanding of the offense, uh, just the, the, the way that he operated the offense, I think, you know, it was pretty clear uh, that he was the guy. Uh, just his maturity at, at, at 18 years old. I think just his work ethic, his steadiness, uh, his composure. I think you know that he's he's shown all those those attributes at practice. I think he's got obviously an elite arm talent, and not just throwing the ball hard. That you know everybody can throw the ball hard, but he can place it where it needs to be, where he wants it to be. I think you know trying to some of the throws we're asking him to make. That's that's a big deal for us. Uh, it's huge because you you know the quarterback they got to add extra hats in the box and, it, and it's a whole different deal how you have to attack a quarterback running team it's going to be more uh, traditional our uh, running backs are going to have to step up but we still have Heinrich out there and Heinrich can do a bunch of different things for us and Heinrich's going to be out there on the field with Dylan a lot and shoot he's we're not, you know Heinrich's too athletic to be standing over there on the sideline holding a clipboard so we can be creative and do a bunch of different things so you know we can generate a run game by handing the ball off we can put two quarterbacks in there we can do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, the, t the tough part is that the staff came from Austin P. So you're watching Austin P. film, not UTEP film. So, you know, the guys have to really go back and watch UTEP from last year to see, you know, the guys that they're going to be playing against, uh, you know, and they're not even running the scheme that we're going to go against on Saturday. So I think that's one one hurdle we had to overcome. And then just it's a, it's a really good defense, good, you know, very good defensive staff, very sound. They make you execute. They do some different things, give you different looks. So it, it'll be a it'll be a challenge for sure. I think it's huge. I mean, anytime you can you can play at home, especially in a place like this, I think it'll be good. Uh, be exciting. Our guys have worked really hard, uh, and I can't wait to the. You know, it's going to be a celebration to go out there on Saturday and and see you know all the hard work, see what happens. Uh, I mean, really, like he's attacked everything since he's you know started learning the offense. He attacks it. He works really hard. He works into the night. He meets you know meets with Glenn extra on you know, certain facets of the game. Uh, he just he's a, a young pro. You know, he's he's always going to get better, better, better. And there's still maturing that he's going to do. But he's he he attacks it like a pro. And you know he, he stays there until he gets it right and gets it gets his, gets it in his brain. And then he goes out there like today and, and we go start learning how to execute those things. Yeah, if you get a guy that gets hot, we definitely, you know, would love to just let that guy go. Uh, you know, all all four of those guys are talented, uh, but they need to separate themselves. They need to go out, you know, these first couple of weeks and separate themselves because, you know, I personally don't want to go through a season with four running backs. I want one or two guys that can go out there and carry the ball and pass, protect, and be physical, and uh, know know and do their assignments very well. So hopefully, you know, one of those, one or two of those four start to separate themselves as the season begins. I feel great, but I mean, again, they're still they're freshmen. So you know, it's you're going out and you're playing a you know a major college football game, ninety thousand people. Like it's there's going to be mental things that, that you know that they've never seen or done or even have the ability to prepare for until you get out there. So I understand there's going to be some ebbs and flows of the first couple of games, but for you know for young guys, eighteen year old guys to come in physically, you know, and mentally do what we're asking them to do, they they've done a really nice job of putting themselves in a position where. We can give them the ball in certain situations. I found out about it yesterday. To be honest, to be dead honest with you, he's a, you know since I found out he was here, I've researched him a little bit. He's a good player. Got a chance to to do some things for us. Uh, you know, as as everything starts to take place, but you know, just showed up at school and here he is. Yeah, no doubt. 
Uh, I don't know all that. I'm going to let Coach Rule address all that, all those things on Thursday. I don't want to say something wrong. You mentioned uh, Heinrich not being on the sideline. You wanted to get him on the field. I don't know if you can want to or can't comment on this, but what is his game just kind of going to look like going forward? Well, it's cool because he's going to have to have a, a quarterback. He's going to have 19 helmets on the sideline because he's going to have, have to have a quarterback helmet and then an extra quarterback helmet in case his wires go, uh, go bad. And then when he's out there playing not as the primary green dot quarterback, then he'll have a normal helmet. So. Other than just making sure he's got the right helmet, he's just on call for whatever we ask him to do. How much more do you feel like when you're a creative guy and everybody you see in your offense that you know that, how much more do you feel like it's open to you as a play caller with the more experience and the different sizes of players that you have to see? Um, I think that you know we can be as creative as we as we need to be, you know, early on and moving forward throughout the season, but. Uh, you know, there are some some tools that we have, different body types, different, you know, fast guys, big guys, big guys that can kind of run, you know, guys that can take the top off of it, great ball skills, guys that can throw it, you know, with laser point accuracy. Quarterbacks that are maybe not the starting quarterback, but super athletic, can catch the ball and can run the ball and can do all these different things. So we can be very, very, very creative. And I think we have to be, I mean, we got to make it fun. You know, I think the Chiefs do an unbelievable job, obviously, because they've got one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game and one of the best tight ends to ever play the game. But they're able to go out there and just create some cool stuff. And I think that's kind of the, the trend, you know, kind of the direction that we're wanting to go towards. It won't look like that early on, but as we grow and grow throughout the season, you know, you, you can be as creative as, as your players will allow, and, and they're going to allow us to be very creative. He's, I mean, he understood it was a great competition. Very, you know, all those guys respect each other and like each other and compete in the classroom with each other. I, you know, his whole thing was just, I don't want to stand over there and hold a clipboard. Let me go play. And so we're going to find ways to get him in the game and, and, and be creative. Uh, I, I think that that's got to be, you know, one of the big parts of our offense. I think, you know, the way that we run the football. Uh, you know, the way we ran it last year, the way that you know, I think we can have a chance to run it this year, I think it's going to, you know, open up some opportunities for people having to get extra guys in the box, which allows you to push the ball down the field. Awesome. Thank you, guys.